We go live now? What do you reckon? Go live now? Give it a couple minutes. I like to keep the punters waiting. Get those fuckers in! Those fikers! Get those fikers in! I want to get them in. What do you reckon? Start now? Start now? Or start in a couple minutes? What do you reckon, guys? Fikers! Three, two, one, go. Hey guys, Archie Luxury on the Archie Luxury Friday show. Friday show. Let's get the invites happening now. Let's get these babies happening. Let's get it on the road. Blue shirt Buddha. I'm going to send Blue Shirt Buddha. What's going on here? Hello? Hello? Hello, Blue Shirt. Where is my Blue Shirt Buddha? Blue Shirt Buddha. Good friend of mine, the Blue... Where's the Blue Shirt? What's wrong with mine? My WhatsApp app is playing up. Hello, guys! WhatsApp. Let's have a look what's happened on the WhatsApp. WhatsApp. Blue shirt. Buddha. Blue shirt. Buddha. We want him on. I want ABC on. I got to tell you, I'm getting a bit bored with the Clivers. Bit negative. Bit nasty. He's getting a bit nasty. Bit nasty. That's for sure there. I'm just going to have a little bit of... I'm having a pita bread. No butter. Chew, chew, chew. ABC man, we got the man with the mostest, the ABC man. G'day, mate. Hey, man, what's going on? Oh, not much. It's the weekend. We've got a bank holiday weekend or Labor Day. I don't know what you guys call it in Australia when you've got the Monday off. You know, every day I have off, it's called unemployment. <laughs> yeah, but on a day when, you know, official institutions Every day are is Labor Day. Every day is a bank holiday to me. Do Aussies call it bank holiday? Yeah, we have bank holiday. We have okay. Labor Day. We have many holidays. We've got a socialist government. Hey, Blue Shirt. Hey, Blue hey, Shirt. It's Friday Night Live with the Pontiff. And the, I got the A team. This is the new A team. A so, and B. everyone's talking about it out of the blue, hey? Blue Submariner. What do you think, guys? Mm, yeah. No day. You know, I saw no Adrian's day. vid today, mm -hmm. and it's not very it original, shows. Is he? Well, it shows a side profile pic, and there's no Cyclops bubble. Mm. No. No. And the loom Isn't shot better. shows um, symmetry. Right. But if you also look at the side with the side shot, that looks to me awfully like an oyster flex. So hey. mm. it could be pressure. Showcase. Hello, showcase. showcase. Hey, showcase. Hey, guys. How you doing? Hey. Good, James. Good to see you. Good, Good. to talk to you. How you doing, Pontiff? ABC? Bruce, how are we all? Good, thanks. For a long time. I know. Sorry about that. I was in therapy. <laughs> <laughs> how is the Mercedes? Yeah, it's good. Well, to be honest, I haven't been out in it for the last week or two. So what are how, you doing? How, just busy with work. Feeling flat out with work, so I've been getting some some uh, getting some early early mornings and uh, early to bed. Nice. But it's fr it's Friday. Mm. It's a bank holiday weekend here in the UK, so I thought I'd join you guys. There you go. There you go. You had a you, you got a beautiful collection, James. That was a great uh, live stream you did earlier. Oh, thank you. No, could just caught the tail end of it, but you got some beautiful pieces. Yeah, you're becoming the Ome the Omega aficionado now. I like my Omegas. I do like my Omegas. They make some really good watches, just their marketing strategy is crap. 
Jerry's sorry. money, Just two dollars. The rubber bracelet fad has got to go. Hate it. I don't know. Mm. I do like rubber myself. I wish they brought out an oyster perpetual mm. on rubber to bring the cost down. Rubber. Wouldn't that be amazing? I mean, there's a difference between, you know, an everyday normal rubber strap and an Oyster Flex. I mean, the, it, it, there's definitely a huge difference. Super Chat. Malik Diamond, five bucks. It's Friday. Have a drink, Arch. You know what? Did any of the punters send you booze? No, but I've got a few bottles in the cupboard of my really really good stuff i'm thinking well it's friday what? night break it out big boy break it out man I, was gonna say way, that. I just wanted to share one thing with you sorry were you saying i'm just gonna say you're looking pretty dapper hey thank you i was talking to a guy i know he's not a friend i had a big fight with him a couple months ago. Oh, you have no a couple friends. years ago we used to be friend now he's just kind of a pain in the okay Andrew, one dollar and one cent. I want to tell you this story. Anyhow, he's recently. This guy's in the automotive industry. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bit of a he, look. I've got to be completely honest with you. He's he's not ugly, but he's he's not good looking either. Does that make sense? Sure. Yep. Anyhow, he's in a relationship now, but she lives in her house in her apartment and he lives in his apartment which i think is perfect don't move mm. in too quick right she's got a kid from a previous relationship as they do mm. he's early 30s mm -hmm. and i said oh that sounds good you got you got a missus that's all good and i said to him how often do you have intimacy mm. once a month he said mm. i said why bother why bother when it's once a month? Wouldn't you want at least once a week? Come over for a Sunday roast and a cuddle? No? Oh, Is that acceptable? Is that acceptable in a relationship? Once a lousy month? Super chat. Brian Allison, drink for health. You know what? I think this could be the perfect <laughs> opportunity it's oh, good Archie, stuff. It's the last I've of my just... good stuff. After That's seeing it... you try it, I've I've just bought the Lint Mint Intense. I've got to try and find it. Where is mm. it? More chocolate. Lint. You know what? Yeah. I'm going to go and get a drink. Just hang on, guys. By the way, guys, just out of interest, there. Do mm. I? You know, I'm sorry. A little bit slack today. Shorts. No pants. Oh God. No, no, I got pants. I got pants. They're just shorts. They're not long pants. Oh, thank God. They're tradesmen's pants, you know. I I'm think gonna go the Sterns and get are coming to visit. <laughs> <laughs> just, just hang on there. Got to say, it's a special kind of guy that can pull off shorts, a shirt, and a tie. Mm, yeah, yeah. One of a kind, that's for sure. So uh, the rancher texted me a question that uh, he wants me to ask Archie. Should I, uh, should I ask it? Is it like what is, what it's, is it? It, it's pretty funny. Well, if I say it, it'll give it away. But it's pretty funny. Oh, you okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. It, is it likely to? Is it likely going to end in a? Uh, Hold on. Uh, That's him. Hold on. This is actually one of the last bottles I got from my good friend Stephen Brooks. You know Stephen Brooks. Some of the good stuff. Glenn live at 18. Is that good or not? Yeah, it's good enough. It's, it's very good stuff. It's this is better than safety. Perrier. Oh, no, the Perrier. By the way, that was another fan who sent me a case of Perrier. No, the Perrier is amazing. Hmm. I'm there have, we go. Know, I've been wanting this all week. I've been thinking, no, nah, I'm not going to drink. I'm not going to drink. I'm not going to drink. You know Do you what? realize you, you've consumed more alcohol in the last 24 hours than I've consumed in five years? What do you mean by that? Well, I've been teetotal now for 13 months. Was it a problem? No, no, no. no. I decided I was going to cut it out for two weeks because I was sick of getting home from the pub and eating a piss through the night. Hmm. So then I thought I'll give it up for a couple of weeks and then it just it just went on. 
So no, it wasn't a problem. I think drinking Stephen eight. Brooks, I love you, Stephen Brooks. This is the last bottle from Stephen Brooks. I haven't heard from him. I think his luck kind of changed. Mm. Breakfast I think, of champions. I think drinking at nine forty-five in the morning might be a problem. No. no. <laughs> Come on. It's for the American market. It's you guys, it's night time. Absolutely. Cheers. Did now, just, get, did, just re, uh, remind the punters if uh, they want to. Oh, I got to. I'll, I'll be right back, guys. Yeah, you'll be right back. Guys. Guys. Rory Cullen's four bucks. What's the latest on Watchbox sponsorship? Absolutely nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing. It's not happening. I'm sticking with David SW. David SW, David SW. I think, I That's think they've where missed I'm a staying. I think they've missed a trick there. I think they could have done another aspect to their show. I know. Math 73, Math 5 pounds. Chroma light is being replaced, plus a ceramic dial on that new sub. Bob down the pub said. Wow. Aren't you pleased? Aren't you pleased to be in a position? I mean, I certainly am. I'm pleased to be in a position where I don't give a shit what Rolex release because I won't be buying it. You can just sit yeah, back and you can you, you can just sit back and enjoy what unfolds and watch all the idiots just fall over themselves paying a hyper price. Yeah, I gotta mm, agree. I mean, look, there's point. so much more to Rolex. It's like Kit Johnson, three bucks. What new Rolex is being released? No date, slim sub. Possibly. I gotta Possibly. be completely honest with you there. You know what? Mm. The whole Rolex thing. I get sick of these games. Like I love Rolex to death, mm. but these games, man. There's no stock available. Why can't normal lower middle class folks save their bickies and buy one? They can't. You cannot do that anymore. If, if you're gonna pay, if you're gonna pay expensive prices then you're better off buying something a bit older. Something that's... By the way, guys, I'm wearing a Reverso. I'm trying to do a deal on the paddock, the sixth paddock. I've got a guy in America. Really? Got a guy in America who's going to send me 20% deposit, mm -hmm. and we're gonna, he's going to pay it off. I hold the watch until he pays it off. I said, mm -hmm. okay, well, let's do it. Let's do this it. is Get the one the with, the, with the, uh, the copy from the... Uh... From the archive, the extract, the extract. Yeah, the extract. Yep, yep. Okay. I sold it for seventeen thousand five hundred US dollars. US dollars. That's fair. Seventeen and a half US. Which, yeah. if you look at European watch gallery, they've got a rose gold one, which is I know it's a different color metal, but they're about the same second hand for mm -hmm. nineteen nine. So I think he's got a bit of a saving. Yep. It's a good, beautiful, honest watch. Mm. We'll see. Look, let's just see how it goes. Yeah. I thought you released. I thought you released a very good video yesterday, actually, about um, people wanting what they can't have. Ah, mm. oh, yes, yes. I thought that was a very yes. good video. Anyone that hasn't mm. seen it should go and take a look at that because it's absolutely true. Yeah, it, it, exactly right. Like, I mean, I kind of wanted things that I couldn't afford years ago, and I've, I'm sure it's the same with you. I always wanted an SLK. Mm-hmm. I really, really wanted one. I always wanted a paddock with many dials. That's all I want. I didn't even understand what these things were. This was so many years ago. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, and now people want Nautiluses. Oh, I do anything to have a Nautilus. Oh, I do anything to have an Aquanaut. Mm -hmm. I get sick of it. And so many people, oh, I do anything to have a Pepsi or a, you know, a Batgirl. <laughs> That's why I respect people who have, you know, really nice pieces in the collection, but they're perfectly happy to wear, I don't know, a Breitling or a Tudor or an Amiga or whatever. You know, the, mm. the, 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 just because you've got a £30,000 watch in your collection doesn't mean you are the king dick. Uh, yeah. And I think I, th I think people get it wrong. People think because because Steve McQueen wore something, it makes them cool. And well, the other thing is, too, Steve McQueen, in the day, he didn't give a shit. No, he didn't. Exactly. If you actually look into the story... They didn't, racing drivers didn't really wear the Monaco. They mainly wore the Silverstone, which was an oval sort of watch. Mm -hmm. 
And, uh, you know, I got to be honest with you. Um, the thing is, um, he was given it because it was just, oh, yeah, we, we had three. They just so happened to have three of the suckers. Right. They had three of these suckers. And he thought, oh, okay, yeah, fair enough. He didn't analyze it for hours. Oh, no, I don't want that one. Mm. And I mean, look, okay, there's a silver. That's what the people were wearing. Mm -hmm. He just said, oh, they gave him a monocle because they had a, they had three. They needed one for him to wear, mm -hmm. one for close-up picks, and one as a backup. Right. And they only had three monocles. The other ones, they didn't have three of the same. And i got to be honest with you, same with the Paul Newman. Paul Newman, you know his wife, she gave him that Rolex. That was a dog in the day. Do you understand right. that? Yeah, nobody wanted the Daytona. <laughs> nobody. Because in, in the day, you would have gone for an automatic chronograph, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. If you were spending that sort of money, you wanted an automatic chronograph. Mm -hmm. And he even got the horrible dial, that exotic dial. Nobody wanted that dial, right? Mm. And then it became super, super cool. Well, he didn't analyze it. His wife gave, oh, I'll just wear it. Oh, yeah, put it on. That's okay. Keep her happy. Do you understand? Like, it's not really... Now people analyze for hours. Do I go with a Coke? Do I go for a Pepsi? Do I go for a black, black, black? They, they just analyze. They, they, they think this is the biggest decision of their life. It's first world problems and i gotta tell you man steve mcqueen he didn't even wear the explorer 2 there's no, no. pics of him wearing the explorer 2 is no. there the 1655 nope yeah there's no record of him ever owning it or or wearing it you know and i, and I gotta tell you i think steve look at this steve mcqueen steve mcqueen was very cool guy absolutely very cool king of cool mm. mm-hmm yep. He actually had a, in the Thomas Crown Affair, I don't know if you remember that movie, mm -hmm. with Faye Dunaway in it. They redid that with Piers Brosman. Mm. I quite liked both of them. Mm -hmm. He had a paddock <coughs> pocket watch in the, in, in Steve McQueen had a paddock pocket watch. <clears throat> and in the, the Piers Brosman one, he had a reverso. Mm -hmm. But they had to blank out Jager La Coultre because he had a deal with Omega. I don't know if you know that. No, I yeah, didn't know yeah, that. Yeah. And I mean, seriously, man, I think too many people, they look at what's cool and this, they analyze. It's very uncool to say you're cool. Hmm. <laughs> it's like that ad for the Morris Marina where they say how beautiful it is. When you start saying something's beautiful, you know something? It's really not beautiful. Right. <laughs> it's like when you meet people who in your life they tell you how clever they are they're not mm -hmm. that clever mm -hmm. it's like when it, it's like when amiga put 007 on the dial of a, of a watch <laughs> it's the kiss of death super chat super chat matthew franklin five dollars has arch ever considered staging a protest with his fans in front of the rolex ad would be good for views well, I got nothing to protest against. It's free enterprise capitalism, sunshine. I am completely market forces driven. Actually, just talking about protests, I don't know if you've, I'm sure you'll have seen the um, the latest videos by a fellow YouTuber about the um, stolen register with Rolex. Have you got any views on that? Look, I got to be completely frank with you. That guy there, seriously. Super chat. Andy Man, three bucks. Arch, would buying a man on the moon increase your fan base? Yes. I'll get one. They just, I just don't have any money at the moment. Bit short on funds. Yeah, I love, I love the man on the moon. I got to be honest with you. That guy can never be taken seriously. If you look at what his family was involved in, there's no way in the world a corporate like Rolex would take him seriously. Okay. Mm. I think it's I not a bad I, I, idea. I, I don't it's know. It's not a bad can, idea to have you, a register, you but you know what? I don't think he should be saying anything. He's too slick. That guy is a very slick guy. I don't want to even mention his name. He's too slick for my liking. 
you know, he's got a big chip on his shoulder. He's, he's, he's working class. He's just between you and me. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't want to make judgments, okay? Look, let me just say this to you. Showcase, he's a working class lad who worked hard. He's got an SLK. Let me tell you this. The sort of person who drives a Ferrari, they've done a few more dodgy things in their life. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. I honestly think the real rich people, you've got to be a certain level of asshole to do that, okay? Mm. And I, I kind of think, I think all that's said, he comes out, he's angry at YouTube that he can't make a living out of it. Mm. Man, I've been doing this shit for 10 years and I barely make a living out of it. He comes on the scene for five minutes. Oh, it's not rating well. It's not going well. Well, maybe stop being a dick. You know that? I, I, I'm <laughs> kind of sick of his attitude. You come on the scene, man, you love the hobby. You come into this. Eventually, the ratings will bring in revenue, but it's a slow pony. This is a small niche. I'm actually, I'm actually on with what with what you're suggesting about the um, bringing back the uh, stolen register. I'm actually fully on board with that. If if if, if I'm being if I'm being honest, I I. But to I, be honest I, with I'll, you, with him, he can't be taken seriously. You can't look like he does and be taken seriously by a big corporate. And for all the money he's got, surely he could have got elocution lessons, don't you? Think? <laughs> You see, Seriously, but you I'm see, not trying to put him down, but I mean, seriously. That's just how we roll here in the UK. No, you, you speak very posh. Really? Mm. I'd buy an expensive casket from you, Showcase. <laughs> do you have Netflix at all, Showcase? Uh, I do. Have you seen the series called The Casketers? No. There's a series on Netflix called The Casketers. This is this Maori New Zealanders who run a funeral home. And I think they're top notch. You would love it. The Casketers. I love the series. I'm addicted. The only problem is I've been hearing noises in the house at night. And I've been a bit scared. Just the carpet beetles trying to run no. away. Someone trying to get into the shoe <laughs> cupboard. Because <laughs> mm, it sounds, yeah, I, I, it's either big rats or a possum or mm. a ghost. I don't know. I'll get scared. How's, how's, how's the new synthetic carpet holding up? Look, the synthetic carpet, look, it's only just gone down. Just give it a little while. Did you get uh, a refund from the furniture company? Yeah, did you get the gift card? No. No, I went to see them, actually. And she was away. I'm going to go and I'll see her again. I'm, I'm just hold, keep your powder dry. Gotcha. Keep your powder personally, dry. Personally, I don't think the watch register would achieve anything because criminals will just find a way to get more and more underground. And, you know, they'll just find a more secretive network where watches won't well, get what out. What about if you, I tell you this now, where that register falls to bits is this. In Asia, you can mm -hmm. get the numbers redone. They see. Okay. How do I know this? I lived in Bangkok, early noughties, 2002 to 2004, and I know someone... Okay, let me tell you the scam that was going on. So what they do is they buy a lady 69173. Mm -hmm. They would fill in, they'd make it a no-holes case. And of course, they had to change the serial number to correspond with the fact it was now a no holds case. And that's what they did. They 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 re engraved the the numbers, and they look mm -hmm. fucking perfect. Really? Sorry, sorry, Ash, to jump in there, guys. The mm. super chats have really dried up. I, yeah. I, I think I think I must be like Loudmouth Tim. I must be ratings poison. No, 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 no. <laughs> Nobody's as bad as Loudmouth Tim. It's scary. Look, I got to tell you seriously. I think I got a lot of anger at that guy because he comes on the scene. He's been on the scene for five minutes, and then he blames everyone. He, he butter wouldn't. He he keeps. Whenever somebody tells you how honest they are, you just know they're not so honest. Mm. 
you don't need to say, hey, how honest I am and how great I am. And, you know, he just goes mm. on and on and on and on about it. I mean, man, mm. I'm kind of but even. Of but back to the uh, fixing of the serial numbers, I think on a larger scale, just they'll find a way to get more and more underground and more and more secretive and, you know, watches will probably stay within those circles. So I think Look. this... The best advice I, I can give much. you is lock your back door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I knew that was coming, James. Yep. Super chat. Super chat. Super chat. Oh, you must be ahead of Here me. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Tank Williams the third. Thank God, Tank. Five bucks. What do you think of the man on the moon? Fifth, 40th. Red, white, blue, thinking about getting one. Let's bring one up on the screen here. Good idea. Let's, this is the, the Omega Speed Maester Master on the moon. Red, white, blue. Let's bring this baby up. Da 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 da. Speed Master. Another super chat has come. Which one is it? Which one is this thing? Which one is the red, white, blue? Tell me what you're talking is it the about. Second the picture? 40th, 40th one, anniversary. Yeah, that's the 40th anniversary. Mm. I don't really like it. No, 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 no. Don't like it. Don't like it at nah, all. That's crap. Sorry. I think with the Speedmaster, stick, stick stick to the professional model. Stick, just stick to the basic. Yeah. Less is more. Super chat. Malik Diamond, ten bucks. Arch thoughts on Oyster Quartz Rolex. I know they are quartz, but something cool about it. Am I wrong? It's like a Rebel watch, cheap too. Thinking on one for a beta. Look, the big problem is they are beautiful. You know, they're actually liked in Germany. Did you know that? You know that or not? In Germany, they love this stuff. They mm. also like the Omega Speedmaster Lobster. Have you heard of the Lobster? No. No, I've never heard of that one. Yeah, okay. The big problem is with these, I'll get an Omega Lobster. I'll show you the Omega. These were for the German market only. Whilst you're bringing that up, I learned a new term there for a day date dial called the Bart Simpson, which has a very yellow dial. Didn't ah, know that. This is the lobster. There you go. That's the lobster. Yeah, that's nasty. Yeah, no ah, thanks. They, yeah, they're actually like that. quite collectible, but okay, you don't like it. Look, mm. let me say this to no, you. No, it's got a 300 hertz. Yeah, that's 300 hertz. Yep, that's right. Um, look, the problem is when they die, how do you get them fixed? That's the right. problem. The circuit doesn't last forever. If you had a problem with them, you could only send it to Rolex and Rolex is going to stop making service available to them. Super the chats. Two on the J 73 math, five pounds. Thoughts on the Jagler culture reverso tribute blue small seconds. Let's call that baby up there. I love that watch. The blue dial, small seconds, the tribute. There we go. There we go. That's Look a fantastic that. reverse. So gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, mm. It's nice. Look, I think it's 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 a very cool piece to have. The problem is, of course, they are a little bit expensive there. Uh, that I don't know why they've gone for these special. They've also got. You know, they did the red, they call it the rogue version. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, I don't buy into this bullshit. You know what? I don't want things that are got to get to the boutique. They're trying to... This watch itself is about 8,000 US. Mm, I've seen a lot of money. On Chrono 24 for a little over six. I still think that's kind of, you know... The problem is, guys, it is cool, it's beautiful, but would you rather get this or a Rolex? That's the problem. Well, you get this after you have the Rolex. I think it's beautiful. Small it's gorgeous. Seconds is absolutely. And this is the Rogue. You just. What do you think of the red butt? Would you prefer the 
The blue uh, or the I red? Want, uh, the blue. Burgundy. This is a burgundy. Look at that burgundy. Super chat. Turkey vulture. Turkey. Okay, we've got no, a few there's super one chats before that. There. Joe money. Joe's money. Five bucks. Opinion on the fifty-nine ninety. Let's That's call this nasty. baby. Pull that baby up. It's 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 actually the fifty-nine ninety. I think. Well, you don't like it. It's like a million dollars. It's no, that, travel time. No, but if you, if you go with the fourteen hundred G dash zero zero one, it brings up a, di a diamond encrusted thing. Oh, okay. Give me the numbers. Give me the numbers. Give me the numbers. So slash five, slash sl one four zero zero G dash zero zero one. Holy, holy, holy! It's like wow! A million dollars. Oh God, that's a Floyd Mayweather watch. Wow. A million um, dollars. It's all over the top. Yeah, I actually like it. You know, it's <laughs> not stealth wealth, is it? <laughs> no, if but you, no. It's, it's... If you want your hand attached to your arm, don't buy it. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, it is, it is cool, don't you think, or not? Mm. No. You don't want scooter gangs in London, moped gangs in scooter London. Scooter gangs! Um, yeah, doing what they do, then um, stay away from Run that. the Shrink, what is the best value in all horology? What do you think the best value is? Value. Wow. Tudor. You know what I reckon the best value is at the moment? I reckon, seriously, if you want to buy some value, get a Zenith El Primero. Chronomaster. Open heart. Open. Look at these here. Look at these. These are... Second these. hand. That's, that's... Look at that. The blue... I love this blue... Mm -hmm. This is the blue version of the yeah. open heart. That is, that is absolutely gorgeous. Mm -hmm. One of the greatest. Look, that's the one I had. Yeah, it's cool. That's, that's, the, that's the three different colored eyes there. But seriously, Zenith itself, I reckon that mm -hmm. is just good, nice. beautiful watchmaking. Nice. It's a beautiful watch. I think watch. that's the best. Value. They're soft as buggery. Nobody wants them. Soft as buggery. Depending yeah, on when you get it, I'd say IWC is not bad value for money. Obviously, pre pre Salita days. Yes, yeah, Scott All Brown five bucks. Rolex Hulk on Joma now listed at just under nineteen. Is Rolex Blue Sub on its way? Yes. It's Blue Loom, isn't it? It's not really the Blue Sub, mm -hmm. is it? What do you think? If if you see the preview video, video that they're doing, there is some blue in the video. It's, it's, yeah. it, it, it is looking like it's a blue Submariner um, on Oyster Flex with no date. So I'm guessing it'll be in a either white metal or platinum. Probably white, wow. pro, 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 probably white gold, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. Turkey Vulture. Yeah, you bucks. missed. You skipped my super chat. You had a $5 Turkey super Vulture. chat at 805 Turkey Vulture, here we go. Five bucks. Bring up the SR seventy one Blackbird. You're the pilot. What watch do you wear? Blackbird. Just give that to me. Black. SR seventy one Blackbird. SR seventy one. Here we go. Yep. Let's get it up there now. Da -da -da -da. The fastest plane ever made. It's now retired. It was a spy plane. It's a thing of beauty, is that? Yeah. Mark Ooh. three. Mm, what do you gorgeous. wear if you're flying one when, of those? When did they fly this thing? When, what, what, what's the? This was in the. It? This was in the sixties. The so they retired them in the early two thousand. You'd wear a bright, bright, brightly navy timer. They are beautiful. Mm. They're a Lockheed Martin plane. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's a brightly navy timer wearer. Absolutely amazing aircraft. Wow, I. Th think how about an iwc big pilot yeah big pilot yeah. i'd wear a big pilot man big pilot we should have had doc on for this because there must be some sort of a conspiracy surrounding these <laughs> okay next one mr j five bucks arpa text with the 215 movement expensive to service no that's actually very that's the least expensive watch to service it's about 800 900 bucks from mm -hmm. Patek. Is that that's just a, a three hand? Movement. That's a great movement, that. I love the 215 movement. By the way, the deal fell through on the uh, travel time, but I'm looking, I've got a buyer who's going to 
he's going to put down 20% deposit, pay it off before he gets it. I think that's okay. I sold it for 17 and a half. What do you think? Mm-hmm. US. Yep. Mark. Yep, 17 and a half. I think that's... Look, it's 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 fair. It's fair. What did you pay? Right back, guys. Archie, are you out of drink? I'm actually... I'll tell you what, guys. You know what I'm going to do? Come on, guys. You super chat me a drink now. I am thirsty. I'm even going to pour it. Oh, by the way, that it. mint intense chocolate is good. I lint. Have you tried it the orange? Bad. Yeah, but the orange has bits of um, almond in it, I think. Or orange oh, skin peel, or something peel, like peel, that. Yeah. The orange peel. The mint is That's better, okay. isn't it? Actually, the mint you is... What, you've talked me into it. I'm going to I'm gonna have some chocolate as well there, guys. I've got a little bit of... What is it? Got a little bit of orange left. Oh, the okay? orange. Okay. Yep, yep. Orange. Uh, cause I, I gotta tell you, man, a bit of chocolate doesn't really hurt, does it? A big bit of nope. chocolate. A fine whiskey, a fine chocolate, and a nice cigar. Oh, cigars! Mm. Oh yeah, I need a I need a Monte Cristo. Yeah, that's the that's my stogia choice. Mm. I've got a Cuban that a friend of mine brought me back when he was uh, there last year, which I still haven't had. You got a humidor, but haven't you? I haven't. No. No, I I, I have like one a year, two a year. Mm -hmm. You need to humidor it because it keeps the humidity in. You know, understand this? Mm. You got to do something about this, seriously, man. You need a humidor. You can't just store it, especially in the UK. You need to buy a humidor, okay? I'm sorry to tell this mm. to you. I think, well, I have maybe one or two a year. It's usually if someone's been abroad and they bring me one, yeah, a nice one matter. back. You need a humidor. I'll just smoke okay. it as soon as they give me it. You need a humidor, okay? Super chat. Scott Allbrand. It's Friday! Cheers! Thank you. So are you moving to Oklahoma to be nearer Cliver, Clivers? I was actually I think, thinking about moving to Flint, Michigan. I think you and Clive need to stop flirting. I honestly would... You know, America... I love America. I love the American dream. I honestly think America is, is a land... The problem with the UK is, what do you do about your nasty death duties? Can I ask you that, Showcase? You get shafted. You get shafted for everything here in the UK. You get 20% VAT. You've got... What, it, what is it? What is it, ABC? Is it 23% income tax? About that much, yeah. With 30 in Australia. Yeah. 30? Jesus. Mm. Depends. We've got a sliding scale depending on how much you earn. Oh, yeah. Well, well over here in the UK, I think if you earn over f either 50 or 60,000... Uh, you get taxed at 40%. Yeah, that's right. My God, how do you get ahead over there? Very difficult. The Uber. Do a second, third job. <laughs> how, how do you manage to drive a Ferrari 360 Medina? With great difficulty. My God. So, is anything new coming then, Archer? Any stainless steel sports on... on uh... I think what I, I think what people don't understand is that if you were so bothered about increasing your views and increasing your subscription, you'd just buy Seiko's and Casio. You, you you could increase the channel overnight if you just bought a load of shitters. But I think I think the 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 market that you're like looking at, protect Philippe and and the top end Rolex and stuff. There's there's less people in it. Hmm. Look, I only buy things I'm interested in. I got to tell you, I got the most respect for people like blue shirt buddha he d wasn't given money he didn't inherit money he's had to work his ass off yeah and you know he's got two look at this i reckon that's a bloody amazing collection two rolex an explorer one explorer two and a moon watch you know what i really want to get a moon watch that's the watch out of all that shit i really want to get a moon watch first you know that's why? A gr that's a great watch you know why? Because it's not a damn Rolex. <laughs> you, you know what what Rolex are you going to get? 
I'd have to get an Explorer, man. I love the Explorer. Yeah, it's a I great watch. One or two well, doesn't matter to me. And you know, the best thing about the Explorer is it doesn't look like a Rolex. Right. It's not like a Saab, you know. It's an Explorer, you know. Yep. Do you I know what they? Do, do you know what they've done, at Amiga? Though, I mean, I I love Amiga to bits. I really do. They, they do some stuff which really really annoys me. But what they've Chinese done is bracelets. Did the Chinese manufactured bracelets? Mm. You now, what they've done is they they've they released the uh, Amiga Speedmaster Ed White on the website at eleven thousand two hundred pounds. They haven't released it here in the UK, and now they've whacked the price up to over twelve thousand pounds. We Before haven't even seen. Even, you haven't even had the watch yet. <laughs> yeah, we haven't even had the. It's gone up eight hundred pounds. We haven't even had the watch. Yeah, they can sod off. Yeah. <laughs> Not paying eleven grand for that. Yeah, as as much as I'd love to have a a three two one, if I'm going to spend that kind of money, I, I, I want to be honest with you. I think 21. the bargain in the column wheel chronographs is the Amiga Speedmaster Mark II reissue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <clears throat> with the column wheel. Wait, is that That's... the one with the red tracks or the white tracks? Orange, you can get it with orange, 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 sorry, orange, yeah, orange, 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 orange. It's got um, the nicer, it's got the nicer bracelet. It's a nice bracelet on it. Yeah, yeah it's an in integrated bracelet, okay. But I got to tell you seriously, man. Mm -hmm. I really, I, I'm craving an Amiga, man. I really am. Amiga's a cool watch. Between the Explorer Two. And guys, I want to just make an announcement here. I want to make a special thank you to my garden guy. The garden guy, he's the guy who got me a case of Perrier mineral water. I'll be drinking this. This is actually expensive mineral water. Expensive mineral water. And i got to tell you, my other good mate, Herman Sows. Mm. Because I have a problem with wearing my good shirts because fifty dollars wow. gun Super gluten. Chat. Super chat. Gun gluten fifty dollars. Archie, it's the cool Stephen. I want to pay you for an express watch review. As you may recall, I've been fighting and working my ass off for a Rolex for years. I finally got a proper Rolex and I will write a proper review. Forty-one mil Datejust fluted bezel jubilee. Perfect. You can't go wrong with that. Perfect. You cannot go wrong with that. In fact, if I wasn't so explorer happy, I'd be getting a Datejust 41. I reckon that is a cool watch. It is. It is specially fluted bezel and, and a jubilee bracelet. That's schmicko. I think a lot My of people friend, are having to resort to Herman the Datejust. Herman Sows has just sent me another parcel of shirts. Oh. And I gotta tell you, seriously, man, Herman Sows is one of the the coolest tailors in he's in Canada. I love this guy to death. He said I, I find it hard to wear the good stuff because I have been so damn poor in my life. Do you understand this? Do you ever know what it's like to be poor? Oh red, white and blue. There you go. I got a beautiful white, 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 and an absolutely beautiful checkered blue. Awesome. I got to tell you, Herman Sows, it's Herman Demerco, Demerki, D-E-M-I-R-C-I. -E -I -I. He's a Canadian tailor, Canadian tailor, one of the absolute best the guy's been sending me shirts and i gotta be honest with you i find it hard to use some of these shirts because i like my shirts to be thread -borne, but he said that's not a cool look it's not and he's when right. do you start wearing your shirts blue shirt <sighs> when uh i don't know you gotta uh, you wear them for a, f a couple of years and uh you know, if you're not well before they're threadborn, and you don't want to wait that long. Yeah. Does this mean we've seen the end of the millionaire shirt? Um. By the was way, it billionaire? People, was it billionaire? People have asked me where can you get these shirts from. Check out StonyCreekTailors.com. Mm. In Canada. Yep, Stony Creek 
Taylors. That's respect, respect us for Herman Sows. He's Herman Sows. He's one of the nicest guys you will ever meet. I met him. He took me out for a steak meal. Man, we had the time of our life together. Believe you me, man. We had the time. He took me out to a steak restaurant. We were so damn happy. Okay, we that was good memories, very good memories. Mm. <clears throat> and uh, I gotta be honest with you, life hasn't been that good at times. What's that noise? Do you hear a noise? Sorry, no, I don't hear anything. Is it, is it, anything? Is it voices? I, no, super chat, super chat, super chat, super chat, super chat, gun glunted five bucks. I'm going to buy you a bottle of good scotch too. Call a liquor store and then you can just pick it up. Dan Murphy's. DanMurphy's.com. Right. Go to DanMurphy's.com. I need some booze. I'm drinking the really good stuff and that doesn't mm -hmm. last long. What's your local branch so the punters know which store to Dan go to? Dan Murphy's Middle Park. Dan Murphy's Middle Park. Email me, archieluxury72 at gmail.com. I'll give you my confidential cell phone number. Order the booze. Order the booze, man. Order the booze. Order the booze, man. That's what I want you to do. Get the booze happening, man. And then also remind the punters that uh, you'll be thanking them until the bottle is I gone. I will thank them every show until the booze has gone. There you go, guys. There you go. Super chat. That super chat. Super chat. Gun Glunton. Dan Murphy's. That's the one, Gun Glunton. I gotta tell you, seriously, what do you think of a date just 41 for a man? What do you think of that? Yes, I no, love baby? It. Yes, yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Is it better than date just two? Yes. I think so. I would say so, yeah. You don't like date. What's wrong with date just two? It's a bit big or. I, I, I just. I, I like the date just 41. 41, 41. better proportions. Better proportions. Yeah, I agree, yeah. Would you what would you get a date just forty one over? Like, would you get a sub or a, what's the no, go? What's... No. no, I'd get a sub. Yeah, we have got to be realistic there. Yeah, uh, what sport. about a, a Pepsi? Do you like the Pepsi? Are you a huge Pepsi fan? I love the Pepsi. I'm Why wearing my Pepsi. Why can't any yeah. of us get it? Why well, can't get it? But can you? They don't make a lot of them. Super chat. SP, five bucks. Your yellow gold world time is amazing. Is there a story as to how you acquired it? Yeah, well, I, 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 I sold the white gold one. I remember the video when you, uh, yeah. when you got it, when you yeah. you were bringing down your uh, your money for them to hold in their safe, and then you uh, they had yeah. that, and uh, and you fell in love with it. It, it was just beautiful piece you know and, and and they've actually gone up a lot since i bought it they've gone mm -hmm. up a lot mm -hmm. which makes up for me selling the steel sports rolexes off at the wrong time i'll but, tell you um, what i've got to say the punters in the chat have been very very polite tonight yes <laughs> cool. all except uh one <laughs> one has not been very polite yeah yeah well, what's not to like about a pepsi I mean, it's the one watch nobody can get, but or very this, few of them. Would you rather have an get. Explorer Two or a Pepsi? I'd go for the Explorer Two, man. I like the steel bezel. Mm. I didn't like. I wasn't keen on the ceramic Pepsi until I saw GMT Master wearing mm -hmm. one. And when I saw GMT Master wearing his, my mm -hmm. perception changed. And I think it's because Who's I GMT saw GMT Master. Who is this guy? One of the punters. Yeah. Okay. Cool guy. Is it worth the premium, but they're selling for what double, aren't they, or what? No. Well, you see, I've got I've got the Batman, um, and I paid over retail for it, but it's because I really wanted it. Super chat, twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Gun gluted. There we go, guys. I got to tell you, man, this is it, man. Gun gluted, twenty dollars. Everyone gone goes for the sub. You don't see many forty-one date just fluted. Bezel, Jubilee, Silver Dial, a modern classic. Perfect one and done. I must admit, you know... That wraps it up right there. It I can think it be does. a one and done. Yeah. I think it does, man. It yeah. really is cool. Um, I mean, you got to follow the rules. If would you go do, Jubilee or Oyster? Well, if you're, you doing, do? if you're doing fluted Bezel, you have to do Jubilee. If you're doing mm. smooth Bezel, then you can go Oyster. 
Yeah, agreed. Well, yep. let's not forget Austin Daniel's definition of a sports watch is one that has a meaningful bezel. So that's why I'd rather I'd rather go pre ceramic than get a date just forty one. Pre ceramic wow. sport. Let's call this baby up. Rolex, Datejust, 41. Let's get this baby on the screen. Let's have a talk about this. The blue is pretty good. The silver... The blue is lovely. The silver. The silver. Blue is the lovely. Two-tone. Would you go two-tone? No, yeah. I'd go silver. Go silver. No, I, I would don't like that. I would, I would like the two-tone, but the silver is lovely. Smooth bezel or no, blue? No, flu fluted bezel. Fluted bezel. Yeah, fluted bezel, jubilee, silver... What, what do you think of the Wimbledon dial? Wimbledon? That's mm, okay. Not a fan. Yeah, not a huge fan of it. Now, let's look at the Datejust 2. What do you think of the Datejust 2? Any Datejust in blue, I do have a soft spot for, actually, I have to say. Mm -hmm. Even the 36. Those in blue, beautiful. Do you not think the market's getting a bit flooded with blue, with blue dials now, though? Yeah, but then, you know, a Rolex with a blue dial is a Rolex with a blue dial. Yeah, but dial. it's also, mm -hmm. blue isn't the hot color anymore. Now it's green. Mm. Super chat. It's, it's yep. soon going to be blue. September 1st, it'll be blue. Mm. Gun glutton. Gun glutton. Five bucks. Note, rhodium silver. Rhodium is too dark. Yeah, I like the lighter silver, that kind of platinum kind of shade. What do you reckon? Well, it's to answer question, yes, that watch can be your done and dusted watch. Absolutely. Rhodium? Turkey Vulture Super Chat. Wow, Turkey Vulture, you're a cool guy. Two dollars. Rhodium fluted Jubilee in sunlight. Yeah. I got to agree with you. You know, I think the, um, the big thing I love about the Beazles i got to be honest with you, the smooth bezel, you know when you buy this new, it's a massive premium you're paying for the um, the fluted. Mm -hmm. Massive mm. premium. But you know look, what this, it does, you? look what it does in the, in the sunlight, how it sparkles with the fluted bezel. It's gorgeous. Yeah, well. I get you. I get you. But I just worry about resale. It's so important to me, you know? It worries me. Maybe you can't get your money back. Super chat. Super chat. You know? Here we go. Gun glutton. Gun glutton. Rhodium versus silver. Well, what do I you like guys silver. think? I like silver. I'd say yeah. silver. Silver. It's legible in all lights. Mm. I got to say, you know something? Many years ago, I had a 36 mil with fluted bezel and jubilee. You know mm -hmm. what? Seriously? It just sounds so plain Jane. You just think, oh, it's nothing special. When you actually wore it, it just popped. It does. You know, I actually loved it better than any other color bezel. I loved it more, you know, and yep. um, that's the whole thing. You've got to, you really have to um, work out what works for you because a lot of times it's, it's what you really do want you know you've got to be careful so many people follow the herd mm -hmm. you can't follow the herd um got to be a bit careful i think too many people just buy what's so popular mm -hmm. you've got to True. be careful man i think you've got to be real careful because so many people they just I don't know what it is with 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 um, with Rolex itself there, or so many people they just not individual man. You got to buy what you love. You know exactly. what I mean? I really, exactly. I really love the Jubilee, but so many people ah oh, they can't decide. You know, if you can't mm. decide, you shouldn't be buying it. Right? Exactly, James. Hundred percent. But if you buy a Rolex, like I said, that's uh, that's you know being risen up by the same tidal wave no matter where it is on right. the boat so 
you'll always get your money back. You'll always get your ticket home. You'll always get your get yeah. out of jail card I, in I, some I was, South American country. <laughs> I, I was I was surprised to hear you say that you're you were in doubt that with that date just forty one that you might not get your money back. I mean, well, you're not gonna get you're not gonna take a bath. Right, I think on you it, would. That's for I sure. think you would. Yeah, I think so too. You, super chat. You got a super chat. Super chat, baby. Super chat. Here we go. Wait a minute, silly. Wait a minute, silly. We've got the doc. We're just about to end. The doc comes on. <laughs> Super chat. Wait a minute, silly. Two bucks. Don't you think the date just hands are ugly? No. No. No, not at no. all. No. Nope. You got another Super chat? And SP, two dollars. I'm dreaming of Lange. Delicious. Yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yep. Turkey Vulture, three bucks. Date just 41. White dial, two-tone, fluted jubilee. Right. I like the white on the two-tone, I must say. Mm -hmm. I really do like that. Yeah, because it pops. It, I think that's it does a great pop. combo. That's a great combo. Like the brilliant white or the slight off-white one, cream color. We like the creamy white, right? <laughs> hey, Doc. Yeah. Evening, Doc. Yeah. How's it going, gentlemen? It's hey, going, Doc. Good, and you? Nice to oh. see. Uh, nice to see everybody here tonight. Yes, Doc, is it, it is. It is, is very good. Is there any conspiracies around the Blackbird? Blackbird? Stealth? Yeah, the stealth plane. Uh, not that I can think of. It's a nice plane, isn't it? Oh, wow. Tell me that watch <laughs> doesn't pop. Tell me that doesn't pop. That's a gorgeous watch right there. It's got the right, it's got the Jubilee, so that makes it, that makes it nice. Jingly jangly. Fluted bezel Jubilee bracelet. Looks kind of Go sky dwellerish almost. Not convinced. Is, now it depends what white that is. Is that like the paper white, or is that the? Is it slightly silvery, off white? The only white dial, the only white dial Rolex that pops is the Explorer Two. Exactly. Or Mil mm. Milf Gauss. Yes, the white dial Milgauss. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a watch I could see the pot of having. White dial Milgauss. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He would do well with any Rolex. Absolutely. I, I would love a Rolex. It's just that they're so unattainable. Like, I don't know how you guys find it, but about thirty-five hundred dollars is starts to get painful. Mm. Flog this Patek. Get the Rolex. Yeah, but the guy's not paying cash for it. He's paying installments. Mm. So, Archie, why don't you? Here's an idea. Why don't you buy? Mm -hmm. Why don't you buy one of these watches on credit and let the guy pay the uh, w when he makes his monthly payment? I you don't just pay on it. Credit like that. I don't mm. have credit. Uh, well, why don't you ring up David S W. David S W. David S W. David S W. And swing a deal. And when the guy makes a payment. You, you forward you it on payment. to him. You make a payment. He'll do that for you. You've been spruiking him for a long time now. Yeah, can, I suppose I should, you know. Yeah, take can advantage you, of it. Plus, can he's you got, bring, got a can huge you bring collection of Rolex. Can you bring David SW up? David SW has some amazing stock, you know. You got a super chat. Doug Glutton again. David $5. SW, I got to tell you, he's an amazing seller of Rolex in America. You guys have got Gen Glutton bought the date just, bought the date just from David SW. He bought it from David SW. See, that's the best. I got to tell you, man, that's where you shop. That is where you shop. Let's go shopping. Date just forty one. Let's have a look here. What David SW's got? Oh man, I think. Look at the same price, blue. Mm -hmm. Silver or Wimbledon? Mm -hmm. I gotta tell you, the silver dial is sexy as yeah, fuck. It's nice. a nice looking watch. Nice looking watch. Solid. You can wear that with casuals as well. Casuals you can wear formal. That for the, it's all you need is just a beautiful Rolex. Man, my dad, that's all he wears. You know that? Mm -hmm. you, your dad wears a Rolex? Yeah, I owed him money. He took it off my wrist. He said, "Hey, you know that money you owe me? How much? How about uh, you chat. give me that Rolex that's on your wrist?" And it was a 16, uh, 16, two, three, four. You know Turkey that? Turkey vulture. Yep. Turkey yep. vulture. Here we come again, Turkey vulture. 
David SW takes care of his customers. Oh, and Gun Glutton, two dollars. I told David SW, Archie sent me. Thank. And God. he didn't hang up on you, Gun Glutton. That's amazing <laughs> stuff. That is amazing. That's so cool, man. I need that. I need that, man. Call him I up, really... Arch, and make a deal. I'll make Get a yourself deal. a Rolex. I tell you what, that could be a. Get an I Explorer. Gotta... A two one four two seven zero. Do you know? Do you know? There's something that I've been hearing on Archie's channel for years, and that's every man needs a Rolex. Exactly. Rule number one: every man true. needs a Rolex. Super chat. Every man needs Rolex. That's what they need, man. That's what they need. Malik Diamond. Malik Diamond. Malik Diamond. Pull up, David S W. Thirty six mil date just Roman silver. I think that's one. Let's get a look there. I gotta, I gotta agree. Be... The the thirty six has the proportions that are classic. Are you a small guy though, Doc? I I don't. I I have a Thunderbird, so I, I'm close. Right. I I'm close to having a date just because I do have a Thunderbird, mm -hmm. but it is small. I rarely wear it because it's small. But mm. I'm just saying aesthetically. It is the one to have. I like the Turner yeah. That's the Thunderbird. Look at this mm -hmm. here. That's gorgeous. They only do that in a 36 mil, don't they? Mm -hmm. Look at that dial. Absolute killer. Stealth wealth. Beautiful watch. I gotta tell you seriously, guys. Mm -hmm. Rolex is not cheap. Rolex is not it's cheap. Not. You know, hey, it's, it's not. It's not easy got, either. You got, got a super chat. 73 math. Yes. Yes, here we go there. 73 math. We got... Where's ABC gone? What's happened to him? 73 yes. math. Math, math, math. Here we go. Hey, Arch. Hey, Arch. Tell the punters about the unwanted female attention you got wearing the 16613. I tell you, this is the only time I ever got picked up for wearing mm. a watch. Okay? I was in Bangkok Airport. Airports mm -hmm. of Thailand, girl. AOT. Mm -hmm. You showed she, her picture. I did show the picture she was absolutely beautiful absolutely mm. beautiful girl and, and she spotted you know, that bluesy on your wrist she spotted the bluesy and um let's let's let, let let's um let's let's bring the picture up because you guys you don't believe the story until i show you I, the picture i remember it there she is I tell you what look at that smile i had there jesus look at that that's a content man, a beautiful woman. I was wearing the bluesy, pre-ceramic bluesy, guys. Pre-ceramic bluesy. The and last of the, the last. With the ripped collar. I don't know if you can see me under that double, triple <laughs> chin there. A little bit ripped, a little bit frayed. Look at that. She was absolutely beautiful. Beautiful woman. Was that before or after she refused to give you your stuff back? <laughs> <laughs> this is another woman. This was another one, okay? Um, yeah, was, it, was this the lady? The one who refused to give me my stuff back. I think I was on the rebound. I've, I haven't travelled. I've got. I got to plead mental insanity because. Oh yeah. I got to tell you, man. Seriously, I got a few <laughs> mental problems. You know, I haven't been travelling. No. The COVID. The COVID's calling is causing a roadblock. You can't let your stuff out. I mean, you know, it messes with your head. Exactly. First woman who shows a bit of interest. I'm over the moon. Hmm. Hey, Doc, the, uh, the rancher has a question but for you. You know what went wrong? You know what went wrong with this relationship? Can I tell you the, the side story? Do you want to hear the side story? Sure, why not? What didn't go wrong? Okay, so I so this girl, she wanted me. I put her on Facebook. No, Line. She uses Line. That's right. She uses Line. And, yeah, you know, they, they like line I said over to there. her, she said to me, she likes me, da-da-da-da-da, all good. It's all fantastic. And I said, how about she wanted to fly places, right? I said, how about we go to Singapore mm -hmm. for a three-day break, you know? Right. I said, okay, I'll book the tickets. How do these dates sound? And you know what she said to me? Separate bedrooms. Have you booked separate rooms? <laughs> and I immediately said, what do you mean? I said, I thought we would stay together. Maybe she meant separate bathrooms. And I said to her, I said, honey, honey, 
Okay, can I tell you what I said, if you don't mind or not? No, 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 go, go ahead. Fred. Sure, nobody's Everybody's so excited. Honey, please, you're a beautiful woman. Beautiful, I'll put it in pidgin English. Honey, you beautiful girl. <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> I only interested in one thing with you. Uh, I give you shower. You know, when said, the only whenever you tell I'm interested story. in is the two inches of real estate between your legs. I, gi I give you juice. You we, we always assume when you tell these stories that if you're that saying you're, you're talking. Exactly. Absolutely. That's just, and, we have translators already built <laughs> in. And i got to tell you, she then, it didn't go anywhere because. Shit. It didn't go anywhere. It's time because... for someone to ballet dance. What's going on? <laughs> it didn't go anywhere that. because she um, she didn't want to have. I mean, you know how expensive the rooms are in Singapore. I mean, if you're going to oh, have yeah. the same room, I mean, Jesus Christ, I'm not paying you go to singers. You got to stay in the same room as me, honey. I mean, that's expensive. Singapore real estate is dear. Mm. So she liked so... everything about you except for being in the same room. Well, I kind of said, well, if you're not in the same room, how do we have intimacy together? Right. Exactly. And she said she's not quite ready for that at this stage. I said, how well, when you are you ready come for back that, in 20 how years. about you ring me? How about you ring me when you are ready for it? Because I am paying for your ticket without a pussy! <laughs> I explained that in a very polite way, of course. You could have just politely asked to sleep in the bath. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and I mean, that's the thing. But she was absolutely beautiful. I think she's had a nose job. Nose no, job it, looks, it looks natural. It looks no, it looks no, real. no, no, no. She, she's had a nose job. That's a bridge she's got there. No, that's... I actually nose. thought I actually thought she was part of the flight crew with what she was wearing. No, she, She's she not part of the airport. flight crew? No, she's AOT, Airports of Thailand. She works for the airport. Uh, ah. Ah. Yeah. Well, she had a she. I'll say this: she has a nice nose jo nose job. It's not shiny, which is usually a dead giveaway that you've had a nose job. Mm. Mm. And she's yeah. got a good have done a minimal she, amount. She spotted that bluesy on your wrist. Why is That's it shiny, it. Uh, Doc? The skin stretches during when you have it when you do a nose job or any kind of plastic surgery. The skin stretches, and when the skin stretches, that. Uh, one of the things that happens is it ends up shiny because it's kind of traumatized. Ah, that's why. That's go, why. Dark, 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 dark. That's why very large penises are shiny. Ah. Okay. You mean they're not real size in <laughs> corn? <laughs> I think. I think in the porno uh, stuff, I think they're using oil on the penis. I think, but I'm not an expert on that, and I don't want to be. Yes. I was, no, I, I was just speaking from personal experience. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I got to tell you, man, seriously, she was one beautiful girl, but it didn't go anywhere because... She wanted, anywhere. Another mm. she, wanted she wanted another room. She wanted another room. Another room, and, and I, I wasn't going to provide that. Speaking, how's this for perfect pairs? Mm. Beautiful. Pla two platinum paddocks. What do you think of that? I thought they were identical. These aren't mine, unfortunately. Really? They're not mine. I said they aren't mine. They aren't mm -hmm. mine. No, no, no. Oh, yours is gold. Well, yeah, yours is gold. yours yeah. is yellow yeah, gold. These are two yeah. platinums. Two yeah. platinums. Yeah, yours is gold. Yeah. So, um, I got to tell you guys, seriously, man, you gotta gotta enjoy what you've got at the moment because we don't know how. There she is. Ooh. Oh, no, nice well figure. Done, yeah, well done. You yes, see what happens? You see what so happens when a man on the robots? Look at that. I was so, that's so beautiful, isn't she? This is what and happens what when you own a Rolex. But this is the pre... Actually... Pre-nose-op. Pre -nose -op. See, that's pre-operation. See. Well, wait a minute. The one that you showed, the first one, the nose was the same nose, wasn't it? No, smaller. Uh, it could just be makeup. Look. Okay, let's, let's zoom in. Let's just show you. I'll show you. She looks a lot shorter there. 
here look at this nose here see the nose is nowhere look yeah that's a normal nose no it's not it's not look all it's right the, this hole here the asian hole I, i'm asian an expert hole. in this doc I'm an expert. I, <laughs> I think you're an expert in the other asian hole that's what i think look this nose here is smaller <laughs> look look Archie, I've got to yeah, ask. Look, look that nose. See, that's built up. Look, that's that's plus. Yeah, yeah, I see. It. Actually, I do see the. I yeah, do see, I see there's it. a bit of shine there, and I do see that there's a little something there. You're right. Look, she's had that. She is beautiful. She was absolutely beautiful. You know, she's late thirties. Late thirties. I, I I think that might be veneers as well. What do you think? That's pretty common. That's fairly common. Archie, I've got to ask. We, we, we've we've not touched on the subject this evening of um, women's shoes. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> but before we get on, Turkey to that, you super vulture, chat. Turkey vulture. Did she have the garlic breath? I got to tell you, I'm actually quite turned on by garlic breath. <laughs> yes, you know so you've told us n numerous mm. times. I want yes. a pussy that smells like fish, and I want garlic breath from the mouth. <laughs> God, no. You know, I've actually said to girls, please don't shower if I'm coming over. I, I oh, want to taste no. you. I want to no. taste you. You're not, you're not no. fighting anyone else for that stuff, i got to say. Mm. No, no, no. So, on to the shoes. So, yes. I saw the video with the shrine. Yes. Um, and the sucking. And yep. And the sucking of the heels and the... Yes. Stellatio. Yep. So is this something that every woman has to wear when they come round? Or... Okay, so basically the w woman has to have 36 and a half feet. How do you drop that into conversation? <laughs> Sorry? How do you drop... When you meet a woman that you like the look of, I mean, normally, you know, any guy I would talk... I can normally tell by looking at their feet. Okay. When you have this... When you have this asphyxiation with shoes and rubber, like I do... Rubber. This woman here has 36 and a half feet. And you could tell this when you're in the airport. Mm, 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 mm. And the best thing is too, I buy bras 12C. For you? And what I love to do is date women who are 12B. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. So... Obvious. It makes it bleeding obvious that their breasts are small. So 12C breasts, 36 mm, and a half feet, garlic breath. Fishy and downstairs. Small, underwear, small, small G string, small, small size. He's got Where an implant you... in his eye, sort of like Terminator, and he can just pick up on these things. <laughs> <laughs> and it, like in the background, you can see like the green screen monitor and uh... the beeping noise and stuff like that. Do you know what's weird? I've been with my wife for 21 years, and I don't even know what size her foot is. And more importantly, you don't care. Right. Do you really <laughs> care? Exactly. But you don't have a rubber fetish, do you? Not that I'm a shoe fetish. <laughs> Stockings and suspenders, that's about all I uh, yearn See, for. See, that's, that's the normal stuff. That's boring. Mm. I always think a naked woman is a boring woman. Yeah, mm. it, it, it takes a special naked woman to, to make it like interesting. Yeah. That's why I like tattoos. 12C or not 12C? That is the question. And I gotta say, nothing better than giving a 12C bra to a 12B woman. And she hasn't got the balls to say, hey, my breasts are a bit smaller. I like to keep that inferiority complex going. Hmm. See, I'm a little bit different. I, 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 and nothing I like... turns me on more. Let me, can I just tell you this or not? Yeah, go ahead. No, sure. Listen. Okay. So I like to, I like to lend the lingerie to women. Hmm. I oh, bet no. they like that. Get it back because it doesn't fit. Then share it with other women. That makes me. It gives me erotic arousal just knowing that more than one woman has worn it. Um, I'm assuming you clean it before you give it to them. No, of course not. Of course not, part. Doc. That's the best part, Doc. You knew the answer to that before but, you even right. asked the question. But they're going to be able to smell. No, no they're not, not dark, because their ego is too big. 
Do you know what? For an hour and six minutes, the show was really good, and it was all about watches. And then I came on. <laughs> well, and you I asked a question about shoes, Showcase. I know. Yeah, that's you true. Guys, let's that. wrap this show up. We'll be, back. we'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> guys, great show. See you. See you later. Tomorrow, guys. Later, folks.